Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. I want to talk to you coming from uh, Rick Warren's Connecting with God, the Lord's Prayer. What does it mean to throw away your life? Not in a negative way, but in a positive way. God wants you to learn to be a giver, not a taker. He wants you to surrender to Jesus by throwing away or laying down every area of your life. Jesus said in Mark 8, 35, if you insist on saving your life, you'll lose it. Only those who throw away their lives for my sake and for the sake of the good news will ever know what it means to really live. Notice the phrase, only those who throw away their lives. What does it mean to throw away your life? It means to submit yourself to God for his purposes. Romans 6, 13 says, Give yourselves to God and surrender your whole being to him to be used for righteous purposes. When you give yourself to God and let him use you, life then becomes an adventure. That's when you really start to live. When you say, okay, God, I'm not going to live for me anymore. Instead, I'm going to live for you and for other people. I'm going to learn to lay down my life and my plans. Then God will provide all your need. In Matthew 6, the Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. How do you make the kingdom of God your primary concern? Well, you care about the things God cares about. God doesn't care about money or fame. He doesn't care about a lot of the things we care about. He cares most about people. Surrender your life to God. Build your life around the things that are most important to him. And he'll make sure that you have all you need and you'll find your true purpose in life. As you go through this day, I want you to think through. Think of someone you know who lives for God's purposes. What evidence do you see that they've thrown away their life in a positive sense? Maybe they could have made more money somewhere else, or, or, or you see them giving up their time, their resources, their energies for, for kingdom purposes. And then the second part, why does surrendering to God lead to freedom and to adventure? Uh, because God has this incredible adventure for you. God knows the plans that he has for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And listen, if he gives you a future, it's going to have some faith involved in it. And that means you're going to be doing things that you could never do in your own power and your own strength. So today I'm praying for you. I'm praying that in a very good sense, you would be throwing away your life so that you can surrender to God and to his plans. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you. Thank you that when we give our life to you, Lord, you give us life that is full of life. Thank you for your word, Jesus, in John 10.10. 10. The thief, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but you've come so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So Jesus, I pray you would do that for us today. Help us to throw our lives away so that we can have yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. That's kind of what it means to submit to his will. Now go be salt and light.